hacker. It's a switch on your fears, fear of the other. They tried to isolate you. It's called divide and conquer. And they tricked you into thinking it's what you asked for. Keep you controlled and ignorant. They use CTOS to track you, to predict your behavior, to keep you in your place. They lie to you. And we promise to expose them and show you the truth. We invited you to join us, and you did. You said with one voice, we will not be lied to. We will not be afraid. We will not be silent. Let's see what the world looks like when we aren't afraid to stand together. San Francisco hacktivist Cell DeadSec has allegedly revealed what might be the biggest scandal in Silicon Valley yet. The hackers exposed evidence that Bloom's chief technology officer, Dushan Nemec, was abusing his access to CTOS data for his own financial and political gain. Nemec was taken into custody and is facing numerous counts of fraud, while authorities have begun seizing his accounts. Bloom's PR representative Charlotte Gardner said they are as shocked as anyone and are looking into the matter while cooperating with authorities. Evidence highlighted by DedSec could put Nemec in jail for a very long time. Uh, you should probably listen to this. Dead set. Dead set. We stood together, middle fingers held high. That Silicon Valley attacked our privacy, demanded our complacency, and violated our freedoms. We caught Bloom making backroom deals with each of the biggest tech giants. Companies already specialized to track and manipulate every aspect of our lives. Bloom thought they'd use us as a boogeyman to drive these companies to their CTOS. All that data was to be protected and controlled by one master program. But we didn't play fair. We shut down their CTOS for days. We exposed them one at a time, stripped their credibility, and prevented an unprecedented state of public control. Together, DedSec gave the untouchable Big Brother its first black eye. Bloom's man behind the megaphone, Dushan Nimick, will spend the rest of his days in prison, thanks to our efforts. He was an opportunist, using his connections to exploit Bloom's system. They will scapegoat him, paint him as a rogue element, claim it was a singular random incident. But we won't let him off the hook so easily. We have demonstrated their weaknesses both human and technological. With great power comes great vulnerability. Bloom and their sycophants now face an onslaught of legal action and government investigation. Faith in the CTOS is at an all-time low. We did this. We know the greed engine will never rest. And to that, we promise, neither will dead set. We outnumber them. With every indiscretion, every scandal, and every scam, they add to our numbers, and we will be watching. DedSec has given our warning. Do what you will. How much of this is hyperbole? Has it really gone global? There are new DedSec cells popping up everywhere. The Middle East, South America, Europe, and not just them. We can't even keep up with all the new hacktivist groups. All right. Make the call. You sure? Do it. <laughs>